Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. This is my third video on the Helium Network and my goal is to make this the ultimate beginner's guide. So if you like the sound of that, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe and don't forget to post a comment. So assuming you made it to this video, I think you know what the Helium Network is, but I'll quickly sum it up. So the Helium Network is a project in which the goal is to create an IoT, an Internet of Things network across the world. Thanks to Internet of Things, you'll be able to connect all the different devices in a very cost efficient way. Rather than building a network in the classical centralized way where you would have to buy the infrastructure all across the globe, which is an immense task, they're trying to use the blockchain and they're using rewards to incentivize normal people like you and me to help and build the network together. Good, I hope you're excited. So let's get started and see how many hotspots you need, what the investment will be and what the perfect positioning would be for your hotspots. The first thing I recommend you doing is going to sidebot.com slash helium. Over here you can click on country. Let's just assume we live in Germany. They have 276 hotspots. Click. And then you'll notice there are a lot of hotspots in Berlin. So the most important thing you have to know is just having one hotspot doesn't really help the network. So everything you do should be beneficial to growing this network and hopefully creating a worldwide network that is completely connected. If you don't have anyone around you, then just try to convince a friend to do the same investment and it will be both good to go. Another interesting part on this website is the rewards. So if you see that a hotspot is doing very well, then you have to try and be close to that hotspot. If a hotspot is doing pretty bad, that means he's probably at a location that is not easy to reach or maybe he's not leaving his hotspot on all the time. Now, why is this important? Because of course you don't know who owns this hotspot. So you're not able to check where did he positioned his uh, antenna, where did he position his hotspot, and you can't go and ask them to change it. So with this short little research, you will probably know if you have to buy one or more hotspots. The next step that we're going to do is go to a website called helium.place. We'll fly over to Berlin. There we go. And the first thing you see is all these different hexagons. So the technology that's being used in the Helium protocol is a technology where we divide the world in different regions and these regions have the shape of a hexagon. When we click here, we can define the resolution. By default, I suggest to put it on resolution eight. So let's zoom out a little bit. All these blue dots are different hotspots. So when you hover over them, you'll get the name of the hotspots and you can click on them. And you'll go to the Helium website and get a little bit of extra information. Now, what is important for us? First of all, the distance. I think it is safe to assume you'll be able to get between one and two kilometers. I also suggest to stay out of the red zone. So this should be about 300 meters. So if there are hotspots here in the red zone, I wouldn't count on them. So if you only have two hotspots nearby and they're both in the red zone, then they will probably not give you any rewards. Again, everything that happens in the reward system pushes towards building the network. So if you put them too close together, you will not get any rewards. So when we take a look at the different hotspots, we see the distance and a reward scale. So the reward scale is a score between zero and one. Zero is bad. One is super good. As a general guideline, anything between 0.5 and 1 is a good neighbor to have. Second thing you have to keep in mind, every hexagon has a maximum of four hotspots. This will give you the optimal results. If you have more hotspots, then you'll be sharing the rewards across all the different hotspots in the zone. So if you're able to put four hotspots in a hexagon without them being in the red area, then you have the optimal solution. So in this case, when you're looking at resolution eight, you're practically not able to put any other hotspots in your own zone. But when we add level seven, then we see a bigger resolution. Then in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six hotspots in the same level seven hexagon. So in this case, we actually have two too many for the uh, optimal results. This means we'll all be getting about 14% rather than 20% if it would have been there with four hotspots. Now, also important to know, if we have less than four hotspots, we will still just be getting the maximum of 20%. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to panic if there are too many blue dots around here. Um, the rewards that you will get per block will just be less, but because you have more hotspots nearby, you will probably get uh, rewards more frequently. 
But in general, the guideline is if you want to have maximum rewards, just look at the resolution 8 and 7 and make sure that you don't have more than 4 hotspots. Now let's take a look at how the rewards work. Let's just take this one. Curly Cinnabar Dolphin. When you click on it, you will go to the Helium website and you'll get more information. So here you can see that our Cinnabar Dolphin is connected to a whole bunch of hotspots. Even this one going, I think, about 10 kilometers. So that's a pretty big distance. It is not connected to this one, which is really close, so it's probably too close. And it probably can't reach these ones. So I think he put an antenna on the roof on a very high building. This allows him to reach all the different hotspots. And this is exactly what I was talking about. This one is probably not the best neighbor to have. Maybe he put it in the basement. Maybe he put it in the corner of the house. Maybe he has a bad antenna. You don't know. When we look at the rewards, we see that this guy is getting 20 HNT per day, which is pretty good if you ask me. Then we'll take a look at his neighbor here, Skinny Maganta Rook. And he is connected to a lot less hotspots. He's so close to the other one, so I assume that he's just in a lower position because he's able to reach a lot less hotspots than the other one. And then probably, because he's providing less coverage, he should be getting less rewards. And there you go, he's getting a lot less rewards. He only has four rewards, which is about 20% of the other one. So this shows you how important it is if you can choose, then to choose the right location for your hotspot. Now, personally, I do think this will probably be a good position to have as well if you can reach these different hotspots because they will be providing coverage across this entire area. So let's take a look at Tart Lime Llama. Oh, wow, he is getting <laughs> he's getting insane coverage. So I think he has a very tall building. Uh, and I think he'll be getting a lot of rewards. There you go. He's getting 40 rewards. So yeah, this guy is providing a lot of coverage uh, in a much bigger area than just Berlin. And that's why he's getting 40 HNT per day, which is, uh, which is insane. <laughs> so before you jump in and go buy your hotspot, there is one more thing I think you should do. And that is calculate your line of sight. So the line of sight is much more important than your antenna. And an easy way to know if you have a good line of sight is by using Cloud RF. I know you don't always have the exact height of, uh, of the different hotspots, but at least if you have, for example, two hotspots, you can have the perfect setup by going to this website. So signing up is uh, completely free. Just click register and then you'll have to buy a plan. Don't be scared. There is a free plan, but you actually have to buy it. Um, so you don't have to give in any credit card details, just how the site was set up. Uh, so you just click order and then go next, 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 and you'll have a free plan. So just add the free plan to your cart, then go to view cart, and then proceed to checkout. That's the only thing you have to do. Next, you can click login, and then you go to the 3D interface. Usually I just take the reduced resolution, for this example, I put us somewhere in France. I have no information about this location, but it looks like a, like a city. Um, then you click on site. Then you can say where your hotspot is located. So if you put it on the roof, I guess you could say six meters. Then if you want, and if you have the information, you could fill in the information about your signal, but I think most of us don't know. This one you can skip. Then you click on antenna. I would leave everything here by default unless you have this information. And then probably your antenna will be about 6 dpi. As I said before, it is not that important. Usually if you go for longer distances, I think uh, further than one kilometer, the uh, strength of the antenna becomes more important. And then your second hotspot will be the mobile edX. So click here. Very important, put in the altitude. Let's say we put it on the roof as well, 10. And we have the gain at 5.6, just to have something. Then you click on this little tool. It's the path tool. Let's zoom in. E. So it gives you the distance that's pretty good to know. So let's just put it right here. It's one kilometer away. Click, and it'll start calculating. So. This information is the most important. So this is our first hotspot. This is our second hotspot. And as you can see, this line gives us the line of sight. That's what the LOS stands for. 
and the green bars are our terrain. So apparently something is blocking our line of sight. Then we might consider trying to find a different location for our hotspot. So as I said before, we have to be 300 meters apart. So this is still acceptable. Let's see what happens if you put it here. Still not great, but I think this would this should work. I mean, uh, we're not that far apart. There is only a little bit blocking. So this should be fine. But if you want to be safe, then we'll probably have to find another location. So let's go here. Ugh, still a problem. Maybe here. Still a problem. <laughs> Maybe here. There you go. This would be a good location. I think this would be a very good location because the Fresnel score is also green and line of sight is green. But again, the most important thing is this line. If you can make it green, then awesome. You found a perfect location. Just make sure that it's not too close to the other hotspot. So keep at least that 300 meter distance. But yeah, I think this is a really neat tool to prepare you for whatever investment you're gonna make. I know it's not because it's red that it will not work, but when it's green, it will definitely work. Okay, now that you know if you have a good location, now that you know how many hotspots you have to buy, it is time to buy the hotspot. So the first place you can buy it is Calchip. They have the Rack hotspot, so Rack is the one who makes the hardware and Calchip is the one who prepares the product for the Helium network. Right now, I think you'll have to wait until probably June before you're able to get a new hotspot. So yeah, it's a, it's a long wait. So that's why it might be interesting to look at the second option, which is Nebra. I think they'll be able to ship a lot faster, especially the indoor one, as you can see, they'll be shipping in March. And if you want the outdoor one, uh, you'll have to wait a little bit longer. So the outdoor one has a nice box around it. So you can put it. Of course, another solution is just to buy an indoor one and then have a very long cable so you can put the antenna outside. That's uh, the solution I used. And last but not least, there is one called Bobcat Miner from Easy Lincoln. I think they're an Asian company. Uh, I wasn't able to find a buy button, so I don't think they're shipping yet. I also sent them an email, but they didn't reply yet. Nebra, on the other hand, has clear shipping data. Calchip also has clear shipping data, but I think the Nebra one will ship uh, quicker. And I have to say that Nebra replied within a day, so that was uh, really impressive and uh, good for them. So points to the Nebra team. Last but not least, if you want to get really serious, I recommend going to the Rack website. I also uh, got in touch with them last year. They also reply very fast. I ordered something wrong. I was able to ship it back. Of course, I have to ship it to Asia, so the shipping costs were a bit high, but uh, I do want to thank them for being so flexible in uh, taking back the wrong product that I ordered. I also ordered the fiberglass antenna kit from them, and it works uh, pretty well. So if you think that the antenna on the original one is not strong enough, I recommend you buying this one. And if you really want to get further than, for example, two kilometers, you could consider buying the 8 DBI one. So what's the conclusion? Well, first of all, if you only buy one hotspot and you don't have anyone around, I think you will get less than one HNT token a day. If you have two of them, then you'll probably get about four HNT a day. And if you have five of them, I think you can get between 10 and 20 HNT per day. Now, if you want to know if this is worth it, well, right now it's definitely worth it. The HNT token is $4. So that is definitely interesting. But do keep in mind the price can change. I mean, if you go back to the summer, it was only 30 cents. Then it went up, then it went down again, below $1. And now, of course, we are in the bull run. So everything is pumping. Do realize this will not last. I think maybe until after the summer and then probably the uh, crypto market will have a correction. So you won't be able to get this $4 forever. On top of that, they're continuously changing the protocol in order to grow the network. So at some point we will have too many hotspots. If too many people are in the same area, the rewards will go down. This is something that you don't have any influence over. Also, if they decide to do an update where they want to give people less rewards, then there's nothing you can do about it. So that is a risk of doing this investment. You have no control over the decisions that are being made for the network. You have no control over how many people join your region. So keep all these things in mind. And also you have no control on the price of Helium itself. Another important thing to know is that there will be a uh, 
correction in the amount of helium tokens that will be sent out um, I think at the end of August so this will also have an effect on the price of the token and on how many rewards you'll be able to get all right, that's it for this video. I hope this guide was complete enough. If you still have questions, do not hesitate and post a comment. I will reply to every comment that you guys make. Also, I wanna thank you again for watching this video. If it was helpful, be sure to hit that like button, post a comment, and don't forget to subscribe and help me grow this channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.